Uh, welcome to Corona Chronicles. It's good to be back. Um, we are in, jo- in Mark chapter 6, uh, and we're going to kick off from verse, verse 7. So it says, Then Jesus went around teaching from village to village. Calling the twelve to him, he began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over impure spirits. These were his instructions. Take nothing for the journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in your belts. Wear sandals, but not an extra shirt. Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave that town. And if any place will not welcome you or listen to you, leave, the, leave that place and shake off the dust uh, off your feet as a testimony against them. They went out and preached that people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed with oil many people who were ill and healed them. It's quite a, quite a contrast to the last place he was at, wasn't it? He, where he was, he was basically, you know, fogged off. That nobody really believed him. This is just a carpenter's son, right? Yeah. You know, and he, and he couldn't do much there because the people lacked faith. But now he's going around village to village uh, and he's taken his disciples with him. Yeah? Yeah, and, and his priority, uh, as is often the case with Jesus, is to go around teaching from village to village. Yeah. And then and then he gives that role to the 12 that he goes with him. Yeah. yeah. And it, it's really odd. It's really funny, isn't it? Um, when you're usually going somewhere or you're getting ready for something, you you, you, you get ready properly. Yeah, so hey, like yeah. uh, even when you're um, in school, you always yeah, got your bag ready, yeah. you got your, yeah. got your well, uniform ready. Yeah, yeah. Was, there's a bunch of kids getting yeah. ready for that right now, aren't they? <laughs> exactly. They're all get, and they're meant to be prepared. But Jesus in this passage is saying, "Well, don't do all that sort yeah. of stuff. Because... Just turn up to school your first day with a stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a stick shaking. Yeah. Those, That's those right. Feet. Yeah, I'm not welcome. If he doesn't here. welcome you, yeah. yeah. Um, but but I mean, the, the point there really is is that we haven't got time to faff around. Right, right. We, we you know, you need to go and take the message out and to yeah. teach these people. And to really um, show them what, what what's important um, yeah. uh, and what I'm about, I, I think. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think uh, for me, um, it re- it's quite striking, is it? Because a lot of these things is, is around hospitality, isn't it? Mm. So if if there, there's a big connection between a town welcoming the message by welcoming the messenger, mm-hmm. right? Um, and so that's why I think that's why he says. Um, take nothing for the journey. Let let their let their acceptance of the message be evident in in how they treat you. So let you know that they, they'll take you in, stay there the whole time you're there um, until you leave that town. And if they won't listen to you, if they don't welcome you or listen to you, then sh- you know leave that place, shake off the dust. And I think I think that's a that's a that should be a real wake up call to 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 the UK, shouldn't it? Mm. You know th- this this country has had the, the gospel. Um, preached it in its streets and you know in churches for you know a couple of thousand years yeah um and and you know throughout this lockdown you you haven't heard the government talk about christianity you haven't really mm. you, you know you don't really it's not on the agenda is it like this message of repentance that the the, the disciples preached that is not high up on the agenda of of our leaders um, or, or, or our culture is, is despised, isn't it? Yeah. And, and why should God carry on being patient with this nation um, if, if no one's going to listen? So, you know, again, if you're, if you're tuning into these Corona Chronicles and you haven't done anything with this, with this message, with the, you know, who Jesus is and what he says about himself, time is short. You know, mm. these disciples went out with an urgent message and the, the, the message is, was urgent for them and it's urgent urgent for you as well so don't muck around with it yeah, i think that's that's exactly right i think there's there's a couple of things here i mean if you're you're a christian then then notice the the urgency in yeah. which we need to take the gospel out to people that, yeah. that don't know it and um the message to um plead with people to repent yeah that you know the people are, are heading towards their destruction yeah. and we want them to repent and know the healing power of the gospel that's right yeah uh, as they as they preach yeah I and mean, then if, if you're if yeah. you've heard the gospel maybe you've got friends and family who've faithfully preached the gospel accept it now mm. before it's too late and the word is taken yeah. away from you yeah